So for this problem, for inverse trig integrals, uh, what you have to look for is something that matches this within these three integrals. So let's just go down the list. So this one has a square root, so that looks promising. Uh, this one, uh, it also has a square root, but the thing is, there is an x. So we don't have an x there, so we can't use it. And this one, we don't even have a square root, so we can't use this either. So it's going to be arc sine. So we need to make this look like this. So we have 1 over square root of 1 minus 4x squared. So I'm going to rewrite this as 2x squared. Because 2x squared, well, 2 squared is 4, x squared is x squared. And then 1 squared is still 1. So I want to get rid of this 2x. So I'll say that u is equal to 2x. And this can be any letter, but I chose u. So u is equal to 2x. And so the derivative of u will be du, and the derivative of 2x will be 2 dx. Is there a 2 in this? Like, is there a 2 on the top? No, there's only 1. So what we can do is just divide by 2, and we'll have du over 2 is equal to dx. Because we need to represent, um, we need to represent dx. So dx is equal to du over 2. So du and then 1 half, because that's what d I'm just pulling out a 1 half from the du. And then I said u is equal to 2x, so it's going to be 1 square root of 1 squared minus u squared. Now since it's in the same form as this, um, right here, it's in the same form, and the letter doesn't matter. Um, all that matters is the form. So since the form is the same, I can use this um, solution. So it's arc sine x over a. a is just the number, so it's going to be 1. So 1 half is what was in front. So it's arc sine and then the letter u over a, which is the number, plus c. But we can't leave it as u. We need to, re, um, we need to plug in 2x. So we'll have 1 half arc sine plug in 2x uh, over 1. Two, so it'll just be 2x and then plus c. So that's the final answer, and I hope that helped, and thanks for watching.